Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. <clears throat> Today's cocktail is called Pillow Prince. And what you need for this cocktail is some Jack honey and some ginger ale. And I'm pretty sure that I have given this cocktail recipe before and I just called it something else, but that's the point of pillow prints. This is a lazy ass drink. It's when you just need something, need to kind of like curve the taste of the alcohol. You just get some Jack honey and get some ginger. It's a lazy ass drink, pillow prints. Or so Jack and Ginger. Niggas <laughs> just laying there, not mm-hmm. fucking. Fuck them. Not literally. Welcome back to Cocktails Dirty Discussions, you guys. How was your week? My week was, um, it was good. It was busy. But my week last week was also just like weird. I was in, Why? I had the weirdest emotions going on. I was just like on highs and then on lows and then just like having mini breakdowns calling my mom you know when you call your mom with a mini breakdown and then your mom just knows she's like okay let me like, life is just i had a weird week but my mom and my sister got here last night and uh-huh. everything's good now did y'all get to hang out at all not or really they got here late they got here late they got here mm. so late then i had to go to work and so we're gonna go to dinner tonight after we record oh, okay how was your week it was great i have been having a really <laughs> good <laughs> Right. <laughs> really good couple right of weeks. Over here, <laughs> yeah, sorry that's happening to you, but you know sometimes it flip flops that's life. Uh, I hope it gets better. <laughs> but um, things have been going well. I've been just excited about a lot of things that have been happening. It's like you ever feel like you go through such a rut for such a long time, and then it's like all the things that you've been praying for, working for, are finally starting to happen for you. Um, it just feels good. But I will tell you what was negative was the pedicure I just got. I felt like Myra on Martin like that. I, I'm trifling because I should have gotten a pedicure a long fucking time ago. So listen, I'm not a Martin fan of the Martin show. Like I didn't really watch Martin. So who is Myra? I don't really know. But Myra's feet were really fucked up. And one day Sinead, she was at Sinead A's salon. She had to get her feet done and they had to like really get to work on those feet. I'll have to show you a clip later. Anyway, that happened. I recorded. Um, well, also you posted something to Patreon. So make sure y'all sign up to Patreon. It's patreon.com slash cocktails. If you want to see any of the bonus content, any of the early release of the episodes, you got to be at least $3, but it goes all the way up to 15. And you know, we're going to start posting way more bonus content, you guys. Yeah, so there's something new that just went up over the weekend. I recorded um, a really fun game of Truth or Drink. Did you do it? Yes, With I your did. dad? No, not with my dad. I'm seeing my dad this weekend. Mm. But I recorded one this past weekend with one of my friends. It's really funny. He ended up getting really drunk and really getting in his feelings. And it was just like, well, wait a minute. Was he crying? He wasn't crying, but he was asking a lot of questions like... Like, have you ever thought of having sex with me? Have you ever thought you were falling for me? And it's just like, oh, and then I was like, I mean, do you be thinking about fucking me? So uh, you'll just have to see the video. We recorded for a really long time. So that's up. Um, My event next weekend got canceled. So I will be here. Um, And then also I have been working with a few different people on. Well, a couple of them are new podcasts and then a couple of them are already established podcasts, which is working with them to help build their shows up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be producing some. So I'm really excited to get those started so I can share those with y'all. I won't be on them, but I still think that you should check them out. And uh, oh, yeah. One last thing. I am looking for some. um some people to work with uh videographers um production assistants if you're interested please email me at info at kiki said so.com email me your resume or work samples whatever is appropriate and that's it and you guys we have some special guests with us tonight first weird sex yeah we'll do weird sex okay so you said a man is not a necessity a man is a luxury like dessert <laughs> yeah Man, it's absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. We'll do weird sex. Okay, so this week's weird sex. Sometimes a neighbor will come over and ask you to do a favor. And if you're cool with the neighbor, you might do it. This woman... 
This woman asked her neighbors to hold a, her box of sex toys. Her um, husband was missing. And she knew that the investigators were going to be going through her house I'm looking nervous. for stuff. She done and killed the husband. So she wanted the neighbor to hold the sex toy. So the neighbor thought it was weird. But she was just like, I'm just embarrassed. You know, I don't want anybody to find this, whatever. And I'm like, bull fucking shit. I'm not holding anything for you, ma'am. You have to keep these. I'm not your husband missing. Hell no. Anyway, uh, long story short, the bark, the barks, the box started stinking. They opened up the box and the husband's head was in the box. Needless to say, she went to prison. You know what? That, Don't be like Maria Del Carmen. That's why you have to ask questions. I'm not sending anything for Hold you. I'm it. not holding your bag in the airport. Handle your own shit. That's a whole head. Okay. It could have been anything. It could have been drugs. It could have been... Did she get oh, in vegetables? trouble? The neighbor? Like, did no. they really like, man, we got to take you down too? No, she discovered it and turned that shit in. Was like, oh my God, that used to be my neighbor. I wonder what he Won't did you be when you my chop neighbor? somebody's head off. I wonder what he did too. I didn't really dig that deep. I, I figured I'd find a short story for today because we do have guests. Well, you guys, we have <clears throat> fine ass, brawlic ass. Jax <laughs> from One Mic Stand. I don't know. Oh, you have so many shows. I don't be knowing what to say. Um, one Mic Stand, Sex with Strangers. And then there's another one that I saw on your Instagram. Uh, well, yeah. First, uh, you're, what up? <laughs> Jackson, Jackson 1616 is my Instagram. J A X O N 1616. That's my personal Instagram. I am on Sex and Strangers Podcast. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Senior Juice. What up? Um, that's like the three of us. So it's myself, C is the creator and the host, and then Juice, she's like the she's like the color guy. She's like the funny one on there. Um and then one mic stand is what I had you on. Mm-hmm. That's just kind of like my own uh it's kinda I don't know if it's if it's a spinoff, but that's just like my own podcast but it's just exclusively on youtube um and basically anytime i go to a different city um i try to find somebody who's either a listener of the sex with strangers podcast Mm -hmm. or just maybe somebody that i found interesting like through social media and i want to you know sit down and talk to them about particular topics that pertain to who they are or it just might i might just throw some shit that i want to talk about and I kind of got to like find the best person to have that conversation. I with. love it. I watched a couple of them over the weekend and I just, I love that whole idea. And I, I appreciate just you. Sit Thank down you. and talk to everybody. We <laughs> also got Courtney <laughs> from, I forgot again. Far and beyond. <laughs> Far and beyond. Hey, Courtney. It's okay. Hey, everybody. It's Courtney Levette, L A V E T T E underscore on Instagram. Um, One half. Stole that from Jax. One half of Bars and Beyond with Demarco two seven five, and that is actually it's on YouTube. It's on. We have an app. It's the Fly ninety three point five app. Um, we upload every Tuesday eight p.m. and we are also now streaming on Roku TV. So congrats! If you have a Fire Stick or Roku, check mm-hmm. out the Producers Network and mm-hmm. search Bars and Beyond and. Oh yeah, and you're also kind of yeah. Like come the, on, like I was like, he's gonna say fault, it. Yeah. She's also like the resident Atlanta co-host of the One Mic Stand. That's I like how I, I met Courtney. Yes. That's why yeah, I forgot I the her clip. podcast. So I didn't just like not know it. I was just like, <laughs> I know it from One Mic Stand. So kind of helped him develop. Yeah, yeah. She one was like my, She was my first guest when it was like in and, beta phase, and as she calls it's it. It's beta. Um, <laughs> it's ugly. And then we could just kind of like upgrade it slowly. Did y'all ever used to date? No. Did you ever think about it? Is this weird? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> nah, they um, both look like no, we actually haven't or did nah, I? Like, did it, we? Was, it was um I think we, we met through Instagram mm-hmm. or via Instagram. I'm not really sure how. Um, but then we just kinda, you know, slowly but surely just formed a relationship through That's social so. media. Yeah. And then we actually met in person when uh our our podcast, we did a live show, our first live show outside of Philadelphia mm-hmm. was in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And she came to it. And that's when we met, you know, face to face, and we just like been cool ever since then. Dope. And then I was gonna try to like suck her titties and shit, but I was on an edible and what? I just I fell asleep. <laughs> he, he definitely went to sleep. Yeah. Wait, I, no. I so we okay, we'll revisit that. Right. <laughs> uh, I was dated, but I tried to suck a titty. Like, what? Suck a titty, but my mouth was too dry. It was some regular, regular, regular niggas. It, it really was. Like. <laughs> it really was. Dry. Okay, so y'all here at cocktails, we like to play a little game with our guests. Sometimes with just me and Kiki. Thanks, um, when you feel like you need to get loose, so one of our games is called the scenario game. So we'll give you some scenarios. Some of them are scenarios. Some of them are just questions. But for the scenarios, we'll give you the scenario, give you some options, and you have to pick one of the options. Okay. All right. So I'll go first. Okay. You're in bed with your significant other. You just finished having sex. 
sucks. After a couple minutes of cuddling and kissing before anyone has brushed their teeth this in the morning, she pulls out a strap on and says, babe, one of my fantasies is to peg you, Jackson. You, A, say, what the fuck is pegging? B, tell her, get out. Or C, say, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, I'm first? You're first. You just said you first. No, like, but I'm right. call, I'm reading the oh, question you're, Oh, first. you're asking the question yeah, first. Like, these oh, ain't for us. Jesus Christ. Um, what are the choices again? What the fuck? Get out. Oh, what the fuck is what pegging? What is pegging? Tell her to get out or say, I thought you'd never ask. I would say, I thought you'd never ask. And then I would say, nah. Wait, what? Like, I could, I could picture her asking me, but I'm going to mm-hmm. still say no. So I'm gonna say that was the option. Wait, right. What you mean? Like this is a multiple option. choice yeah, thing. Like, you can't like this was a, I thought you'd never ask. Like you can't wait to get your booty dug through. Oh no, you don't say that on your screen. You got good. It's implied. Stop, <laughs> look, stop no, reading. I, was, I wasn't looking at your screen. So no, I would say I would say out of those three options, I'd probably say. Damn, we just talked about this yeah, last night. We did. Um, <laughs> where I am in life right now, I'd probably say get the fuck out. <laughs> Cause I know what pegging is, and I know that I right where I am right now in life, I don't think that's for me. And you don't want a woman that wants to do that. Hey, we all like what we like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I could. So, Courtney, let's say let's switch the roles. Yeah. The dude pulls out the fake penis, and he's like, "Baby, I want you to peg me. Get the fuck out." <laughs> 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 Why? Why are y'all so anti? I just don't want to. I don't want to emasculate a man. I just feel like if you, like, I don't know. I just feel like I would be, like, making him less than a man if mm-hmm. I did that to him. Like, it's one Even thing if he like, asked for it? Yeah, I don't know. I, like, you know. You're projecting, my nigga. Yeah, I know. I you am. I, I really mm-hmm. am projecting, but it's just, like, I don't, I think I'm in my head about it. Yeah. So I would feel like, dang, like, he a big ass, strong man. And, and I'm digging in now, his booty. Now I'm out here, like, pounding him. Like, like what happens next? Yeah, like. like first of all, you don't even know if your stroke oh game going to be nice like right? that. Right? It will be. <laughs> my stroke will be horrible. I, I, I feel like it would be so good if I was like, it's too, we talk about this all I feel like it would be too much work. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm what we both it. say. Yeah. I can't do it. Okay, next question. So this is for both of y'all. Whoever, girl or guy, whoever you're having um, sex with, ask you to pee on them. Yo. Do you, A, grab some towels, drink some water, go ahead and let it out? Do you feel weird about it and now you're t- turned off and want him to leave? Or C, call him nasty and get to judging. <laughs> this literally just happened to me. Did it? Yes. I got you got peed did. on? No, no you he asked me to do it. You. Sorry. You. Sorry. You. sorry. You. Did happened. you do it? No, I didn't do it. Why not? Why? Um, Because th- he was drunk. And so I was like, I don't know if he really means this because he's drunk. It's just a little thing that we talked yeah. about. It, he was like, no, no, no. Like, whatever. And I was like, oh. You were scared. It's okay. A little mm-hmm. bit, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're talking about he was drunk. I didn't know. I mean, you were like, scared. You know, girl. We, we were talking about like thoughts that go through your head. I'm mm-hmm. like, ah, uh, do you really want me to pee on you? Like, I had a nigga ask me to pee on him and I tried to do it. I stood over there, was pinching my little lips and everything. And I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. I yeah. did it. I couldn't. Wait, <laughs> my mind wouldn't let me do it. So then we switched and he pissed on me. Really? Which, really? Yeah. Now that I, I did not it. do. I liked it. But I was like, we were very clear, like, don't get it on, like, collarbone it up. I'm so glad I didn't bring my mom and my sister to this episode. I, almost <laughs> I was like, wondering if you were. And I, I was like, I hope she does I thought about it. I was like... <laughs> How was it though? Yeah, that's what I'm like. Oh. I really enjoyed it. I wholeheartedly enjoyed it. Now I did smell like urine for like the rest of the week, even though I got a shower and stuff. It was, it was. He maybe needed to drink some more water, but um, Probably. I just we were just very clear on don't get it collarbone up. Don't a little bit splashed mm-hmm. on my lips, but he wasn't just like soaking me on your lip. Just a little splash. Just this. He's splashing. I that don't mean that's similar. Girl, I'm laying down. Like, I was I, laying I got down on the bed, and he stood over me on the bed. Hmm. Now, see, if I ever piss on a chick, I would, I would like, I would try to see what my range was. Like, I would kind of see how far I could stand away and still still hit you. Like, you know what I mean? What? Like, like on some Steph Curry shit. He does that? Like. No, like, how far away can you shoot? shoot? Oh, Oh, God. How do we know that he's doing that? Oh, man. (laughs) Okay, so, Jax, what would you do? I mean, I'd give it a whirl. I'd try it. Mm -hmm. I'd try it. Fuck it. I would you try it. it with a good attitude or would you be like, that's really what you want me to do? I mean, I'd probably go in the bathroom first and, or I'd go somewhere to like drink some water. Mm-hmm. And, at, and within that time frame, I probably would be processing like, okay, she really into some nasty shit. 
But like, I kind of feel like, like my first time fingering a girl, right? Mm -hmm. Her shit was like, so, did I tell that story? Her mm -hmm. shit was like, I, I called her chicken of the sea because her shit was like. Chicken of the sea? Yeah. Like Why? The tuna. Uh, it smelled like bad? Her, horrible. Oh, no. But oh. at the time, at the time I was a virgin. So, so in my to in my it. mind, I was no, <laughs> no. But in my in my mind, I was just thinking like, all right, this is what men supposed to do. So I was just like trying to like push through. Finger? This is what men do: push through fish. Push through the yeah. funk, huh? Push through the funk. Push through the the smell, the the coarse pubic hair, the all of that. Well, like you know what I'm saying. So, but no, but I'm saying I was a virgin though, so I didn't really know any better. Mm -hmm. So I was just trying to like mentally like. Just get myself through it. So that would be the same thing I would probably do while I'm in the, in the kitchen drinking water. As a as a man who's never pissed on a on a woman before, I'd be thinking like, all right, it's time to level up, my nigga. Like, Son. get your get your mind right. Yeah, get in there and piss on her. Girl, yeah, it's some it. different. I do it though. As a man now, though, shit. like if you smelled some vagina and it smelled bad, because all a lot of men say this, but they'll still fuck somebody who has a stanky cooch. Yeah, yeah, they will. Would you would you still do it as a man? Say, or would you tell her like, hey, like I've never really known how you tell somebody, even if I'm around somebody mm -hmm. and they smell bad, I've never mastered being like, hey, hey um, something is smelling wrong, and yeah. I think it's your vagina. <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> no easy, that. there's no I way to like say you it. Can. Everyone you, just you would have to exit yourself and be like, oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I'm so sorry, I have diarrhea. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea is always a great excuse to leave anything <laughs> work church that is birthday true. party yeah. that's true have you ever told a woman or do you just let them go leave stanky it's okay if you let them leave stanky because y'all niggas be letting them leave stanky i'm mad that you just assumed that i fuck stank pussy just i'm just saying you're, like, oh, you're, you're the, the only man, man in the room you're yeah. a girl like you're the but, only man in the room niggas but, would be like how oh, oh, pussy stank hey, did you still fuck yeah yeah, yeah. her head was fire yeah and um i mean like, for me though like sometimes if it's really that bad like the dick will do the speaking for you like my dick like my dick won't get hard oh. like you know what i'm saying like if i'm really like like when you ever got like the back shot wind whiff like the whiff wind like when you get that shit like when i've gotten that shit sometimes it'd be a struggle just to like like keep stroking for real because you can't really breathe like do you want to go in your nostrils or your mouth like pick an evil like you know what i'm saying so what is this what, yeah what is this i'm not familiar like when like the, when you, the wh a whiff I would hope you wouldn't be because I mean this shit <laughs> curved around and came back to you like that's crazy but is it like her ass stinks or her pussy stinks do it matter I'm just curious well, I'm just trying to picture it's a specific smell you know yeah. it's yeah I just wasn't yeah, sure because yeah, you said the back wind but, it, but it, like, there are but there are degrees of fish like is you goldfish or you a sea bass like Oh, it's okay. a difference. What? I feel you. It's how long have you let that bacterial I thought you infection say, go? Sis. I thought you were about to say halibut. Would you say how long? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny. Can we replay that? That would be funny. Yeah, the backside wind is like, you know, when she's throwing it back, mm -hmm. and then it's like a breeze. <sighs> it's like, mm -hmm. but it it, it elevates. <laughs> Or whatever. Shit. That's rough, you know. Yeah. Uh, I feel, I feel for you girls. Um, okay, Jen, for both y'all, Janae or Meg? Janae. Janae. As far as like fucking or <laughs> what are we? I, I mean, like, oh, like what? I was thinking about what like vibes, but it can't be oh. fucking. The crazy thing is they both dropped their albums, and mm -hmm. I thought I was like, I'm totally not going to be a Meg girl, which I'm still not. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna be Janae because it's more calm. No, the fuck, mm -hmm. it is not. not. I was listening to that BS, oh, and okay. I'm this weekend. I was out here on some BS, yes. embarrassed, deleting stories on Instagram. <laughs> Isn't it the worst? Though? It's you the worst. Like, oh my god, my voice sounds stupid. I look, no, I look stupid, I look and then you feel yeah. like everyone in the world saw it and hates yeah. you. Even someone at Kroger, you're like, she <laughs> see my story last night. <laughs> so bad. Janae or Meg Jax? I'm probably going to go with Janae just because I feel like Meg is like, I feel like when female rappers be like rapping like super nasty, I don't believe, like, I don't believe she do that shit. I believe I don't, you. I, I don't like believe, it. I don't believe she do that shit in real life. Um, and if she does do that shit in real life, I don't think she does it with any intimacy. Mm -hmm. I think Janae is more like sensual and intimate and like, she'll like really take the time to like fuck the shit out of you because she knows what you like. Mm -hmm. I feel like Meg just make you nut and then bounce and then tell a story about it on Instagram how she just made you nut fast or some shit like that. I feel like Janae is <laughs> so... <laughs> I, feel right? like, <laughs> I feel like Janae is so comfortable in her skin and that's what that vibe is. That we, yeah. She's just like, I am, if I feel like I want to fuck you and be a pussy fairy and tell you you about to get this wet pussy. Like, she does it, but it's like... 
Oh, it's so classy. It's so, it's so classy, classy, but it's so nasty. It's so nasty. I love it. I love I'm it. here for Janae. Okay, last question. What would the last person you had sex with say about you and how y'all ended things? Like, it's like nobody wants to speak on that I'm one. Thinking, like, I'm ended, thinking. like completely ended or just like the last person you had sex the with? The last person you had sex with, how did y'all end things? Whether y'all were fuck buddies in a relationship or What whatever. would they have to say about how y'all ended it? Like, would they be like, fuck you? You didn't even explain nothing? Mm -hmm. nah. Would they be like, I appreciate you for being honest with me that you weren't interested and you were fucking somebody else? Would they be like, I miss you, please call? Yeah. Now? No, I, please call. Because <laughs> I, yeah, Get I miss you, please call. Get the fuck out of here. What? Okay. Full disclosure, I've, there's not, okay, there's one guy out of every guy I've dated that hasn't been like, yo, where you at? What you doing? I think most women have a laundry list of men who are always going to come back around. But we want to know about the last person. The last the person, The most yeah. recent person. The most recent person. What if I'm still fucking him? No, the last the one that last you stopped person fucking. The last things with, Courtney, what the fuck does that nigga have to say about you? Is he mad? Is he, he sad? Is he confused? He's probably all confused. Okay. Did you ghost him? I, okay, so I'm a Pisces and we're ghosters. I hate him. <laughs> I'm going to say, so what the fuck does that mean? I'm a Pisces, so everybody ghosts. Yeah, but like we do it like it's it's brutal. Like we can Here's be an example. In, we can literally be texting the same day and you'll be like he'll be like, "Oh, let's go hang out or whatever whatever" and I just won't respond. At all. And that's because you're a Pisces and not an I, asshole? I, just, I, just, I, just, I call fuck girl behavior. What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe I'm like, just an asshole. Thank yeah. you. Oh, okay. The, well. Don't blame it on the Pisces. <laughs> like, yeah, we we'll have all the Pisces like, uh-uh, girl, I don't do that. <laughs> Most okay. of them would agree. I promise they would because they do that shit. We're terrible. We're toxic. You just really if didn't we like any him. Pisces out here that would agree, please let us know because I kind of feel like Courtney is just an asshole, <laughs> but you're pretty, so it's okay. <laughs> Use my looks oh for something my good. God. Yeah. Okay, what would you say? Um, my last I don't never end on a bad note. I don't think anybody would be upset at me or nothing like that. Such a nice um person. the last I'm trying to think, the last girl we ended or that we I fucked and we not fucking no more. Was it that really, the girl where you were like, I'm about to bust? No, that was years ago. <laughs> okay. Why you, yo, you just want to bring that shit up, yo. No, what? <laughs> okay, I just I girl. saw part of the episode that you were on, but I didn't see the whole thing. I saw it was two parts to it. You s what? what? We'll you scream that? Okay, yeah, yeah. That um, was the last question. Some, one of his listeners, I really, I watched, it was a very old episode of this. Okay. Someone yeah, sent yeah. in a sex review about this man. Yeah. Oh. Said he kept screaming that. No, I would hate for people to say that's a big dick that's curved. No, that's not. Said he had a big dick that's curved. I was like, yeah. That's not what Let happened. Let us find out. Okay. What so, happened? Yeah, let me, can I answer y'all yeah, fucking question first? Question. All right. <laughs> but, um, that sounded more interesting. <laughs> and this damn question. <laughs> anyway, man, the last girl I fucked, we had a conversation about like how the sex was. And I remember her telling me that she didn't really like how I was like pulling her hair so hard or whatever mm. um so wow. that's probably just like the last was it a wig or was it extensions like no, what it was, her, it was her real hair she was just like that was just not her thing wow yeah. the girl said that? that's yeah. interesting but it was weird because she, she didn't tender headed because she mm. we would have never like i would have never known that unless we unless i brought that up because like i was the one who kind of like brought the conversation up or whatever um but we still cool like we just ain't we just ain't fuck we just be you know what i'm saying y'all just be chilling yeah mm. so. you're such a nice person oh you God. do seem like such a nice person a, jazz like, sometimes it's like is this real or is it a game he's a, he's a really nice guy you are yeah. i'll be trying to you say you look why are you looking he's sad really nice they're giving guy. you compliments you want to be a fuck nigga so bad because why some, i some, heard you say that this is some bullshit man because like nice guys don't like nice guys don't get the horrid treatment that's like, not always true who who uh who do you know? We, they don't get know. the what treatment? Horror treatment. Like oh, the horror horror treatment, treatment because like girls are like like as, in my experience, right? When women like you, like they be wanting to like hold out because they're scared of what you might think of them. But mm -mm. I say within my experience, mm -hmm. but also like I've also seen women or observed women like tell stories about how they'll do super nasty shit to niggas that they don't really know or like or give a fuck about because this is true. Who who cares? Like, you know what I'm saying? But as soon as you meet somebody like, oh, I really like this dude. Sex will just complicate things. It'll fuck it up. It'll whatever. Yes, I'm just you know really I'm fucking so, easy because that gets me excited when I like the guy mm -hmm. and he's nice. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let me pop my she orgasms and get ready. Or, I'm not really doing or that. Or it's like, or I, what I do get a lot is like people think it's like a facade or like I'm putting on like a front. 
mm-hmm. for the camera or for the mic or mm-hmm. or for whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of women are so jaded. Niggas is jaded too, but I'm just saying, like, a lot of women are so jaded to where they don't... It's like the better you are, it's like the more jaded that they are. They're waiting for their other shoe to drop. Mm-hmm. So then they could be like, see, I knew, I knew you really wasn't shit. I knew this was really a... Uh, a front or a facade so what do you do that's so nice that has these women waiting <laughs> i don't for even you? like i don't know because like i don't even be doing shit i just what, are you fi- doing? what it is i just like are I you just... fixing things at the house are you picking up groceries <laughs> no, see, no, do you know how not? to build uh cabinets and shit <laughs> like, <laughs> good yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no i think you're really expressive i think because he's just so open he'll have a conversation about about anything. his feelings yeah, yeah, like yeah. Any, everything that's true oh and i think like it kind of mm-hmm. it's like wait mm-hmm. wait, you want to talk about this and I think girls are like, wait, no. You're not going to get mad like, and like said, storm like, out? Yeah, like, wait, <laughs> wait, you, you really want to talk about our sex? <laughs> that's no, okay. I, mean, that's, like, that's I think that's true. what kind of like the girl probably gets in her head and you're always in your head. And then like the communication is just like, okay, this mm. is too much. Mm. And maybe like if you got out of your head, mm-hmm. you know. It could be a little more fun for life. I mean, maybe. I be chilling. You I do. I really be chilling. about everything, though. I, think I that's do think about shit. You look like you be chilling. But I be chilling. <laughs> like, on the, out, on the external, I be, I be chilling. Internally, you're, like, going fucking haywire. I'm not going haywire. Why I she looking at me like that? Why she smell like that? Why she didn't text me back? Well, why did she say this? Like, I, I definitely don't give a no. fuck if bitches is texting me back or not. Oh, that's the fuck. Look at that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why they got to be yeah. bitches? <laughs> Kiki, can I share a funny story with you? Okay. <laughs> I mean if I said no you were still gonna share it <laughs> it sounded like a script like we were going into a commercial um, the way that I found out about his podcast was um, he had a dream about me and somebody reposted it I think somebody people were posting and tagging me and I was like oh what is this some niggas is dreaming about me that's never happened and so I'm lying it's happened but like not recorded and put on Instagram and right, so right. he had a dream that it was like something where you I was like giving you head or you were giving me you head you definitely weren't giving me head <laughs> definitely weren't she don't suck no dick um, in, in my dreams or whatever what but, happened in the dream so in the dream right I was like somewhere and I was like I was in I was like in like a high rise apartment or something like that. It was real bougie, real nice. And <laughs> I was like in my in my head or whatever. In my head. Um, my plan was to like give this girl like really amazing head or whatever. So I could get really amazing head in return. Mm. And I was I was like, I was eating a girl out, a body, it was a really nice body. And then when I looked up, it just had your face on it. That's so <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Right? Wait, why did you say it like that? Is it the really good no, body? No, couldn't have been yours. It wasn't no, you, no, 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 no. but the it body was not. It just put <laughs> your face nice on body. it. Nice body. That's weird. Your gut to, wasn't there. Was your back <laughs> rolls wasn't in that thing. No, 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 the bunions no, no, no. were perfect. It was a perfect body, but your head was. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. But you gotta. I feel you. I feel you. At the time, I didn't. This is gonna sound horrible. I didn't know whose pussy I was eating or whatever. But I just so it was like you know how like you know how like in movies they like pan up from like the yeah. floor so it was like that was my vision in the dream i was like eating pussy and then i looked up and i was like okay nice stomach nice stomach nice titties nice titties oh shit it's Medina. like you know what i mean <laughs> like so it was like that but then after i got done you just like kind of like hit me with the so like what you about to do <laughs> or whatever <laughs> here i cracked up and it was just kind of it was kind of trash because i was like damn like, that's rude we just talked about yeah. that last week that's rude mm-hmm. that awkward you getting kicked out so i like, never did that to nobody but niggas stay doing that. i bet you did that to him that was a what nightmare you, actually like, that was your do? own drink <laughs> nightmare is coming to fruition i've done mm-hmm. that before i ain't said so what you about how to did, do yeah but. like how did you get her to leave then Cause I always wonder that, like, how do how do I get you to leave my house? How do you go? Well, if you let the niggas say it, they just start that's what's packing up. Like, yeah, they start move shifting stuff around. They like, fake well, go to the gym. You know. I gotta pick my mom up, and she doesn't even live here. She lives in Kansas. Well, what, what you, where are you picking yeah, her up from? What you do is you gotta. Well, start what you your, about to do? You gotta start no, but you gotta start your excuse before she even come over. <laughs> Well, like before you gotta you get here, I got like, somewhere to go. Yeah, after. like you gotta let her know. Like you wanna, you wanna. That has happened. It's like. What do you do? Because I always be like, damn it. This is why I don't invite people over. Because I'm like, I really want you to leave. And you're here. Yeah. But the first thing like, is you're like sleeping house. hard. Oh, and I want snoring. you to go home. Like now. She done wrapped her hair. <gasps> um. <laughs> I don't know. I fucking hate that. Don't spend the night. Go home. We're I don't together. mind. I like to cuddle. But if I don't really you like you, yeah, you got to go. Yeah. That's why I would just invite them over on my lunch break. Because then you know that I have a job. You know I really do have to get back to work. Yeah, I've been gone for two and a half hours. But it doesn't matter. I got to go back now. Hmm. Lunch break. I gotta go back now. Um, okay, so we kind of 
curated this episode off of some of things that I've seen you talk about already with okay. um, One Mic Stand. And so I'm curious to know, like, what do you want your woman to bring to the table, Jax? Uh, I just want her to be like, first of all, she got to have a good sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's important. Um, sense of humor. Just- and, and when I say sense of humor, I don't even mean she got to be funny. Yeah. She just has to like understand funny. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Cause I don't think a lot of a lot of women don't understand like fun like they can't like you make a joke and then they're mad. Yeah, like they can't differentiate like funny from offensive. Are you a sarcastic or, kind of per- okay. Are you yeah, a yeah, annoying yeah. sarcastic? Because there's sarcastic that's cool, and then there's a sarcastic where it's like, bro, that shit's not funny. And yeah. like no one's laughing. Yeah, it's I like maybe y'all have different senses of humor, not that they don't have one. I mean, I don't think so. Like I think I can I think I'm an okay judge of like what is a boundary mm-hmm. of like funny moving into like disrespectful or annoying. Yeah. My annoying is more like corny joke annoying, mm-hmm. but I don't think I'm annoying where it's like, all right, you just being like obnoxious. Okay. Um, but since humor is one, um, I mean, bring it to the table. I would just want her to be a be an adult. Mm-hmm. Like that be my that mean? that'd be my Cause biggest you. That'd be like oh, yeah. That'd be like my biggest like argument like when I would be going back and forth with like either women or or dudes who are like super duper like old fashioned is like the way that people's uh language is about like like gender roles and shit. It's like mm-hmm. we live in a different time, but we don't want the roles to change, but we want everything else. So to, to be change. clear, what we're talking about, <laughs> an example could be like men taking care of women. Yeah. But the way that people speak about it, it's like, it sounds like a parent child relationship as opposed to like, How an adult. So? what do y'all consider taking, being taken care of? Um, I guess we could say, okay, you're paying for rent. Okay. Checking on me, making sure that, I'm having a good day. If I'm not having a good day, what can you do to help? Making sure I'm safe. This actually does sound like Support a parent. Support it. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying for my food. <laughs> like, maybe my car no. You got McDonald's money. Like, I need nice. a new car. I need to, this I actually does food. sound like you're my dad. You're my daddy. Mm. <laughs> what is he though? So it makes it it's, but, it's more okay, fun that way. But But all of that is cool if... I just be wanting people to explain, okay, that's awesome. But what do you expect from her in return? Like, well, see, or, or that's what why I you... want. It's funny that you said because I have all of these things on the on this on the notes. Because, but yeah. I wanted to start with, okay, so what do you want your woman to bring to the table? And let's say she brings it. What mm. happens next? And is there any compromise? If your woman, like, I feel like sometimes we also get to this point where it's like, okay, I need him to have this and I need her to have this. But like, what if she doesn't have all those things, but she's working towards those things? Are you willing to meet somebody halfway and be like, we can do this together? Or are you at a point where you're like, no, nigga, you need to have it all together. Or it's just not happening. I've never been that nigga. Like, I've never, when we talking about like things, I've never been a dude who is really, really super concerned with like, with things. Mm -hmm. I'm more so concerned with like, what are your aspirations? Like, what kind of person are you? What kind of, what kind of character do you have under the attracting attractiveness that i see mm-hmm. like can you fucking can you bring me out of a out of a bad day do you have ideas to bring to the table mm-hmm. for things that maybe i'm trying to accomplish in my life or can we just have a fucking conversation where we disagree but we know it's no love lost mm-hmm. like because for me that gives me peace of mind that um i'm not necessarily going to lose you because mm-hmm. We disagree on some shit or we don't mm-hmm. see eye to eye on some shit. Like, and I feel like a lot of a lot of men are in that space because it's like they scared to tell their woman like how they really feel. Mm-hmm. Because they feel like if it's either gonna one, it's either gonna be a fight or a confrontation, or this bitch might just fucking bounce. Just off of the fact that cause it's like this big thing going around where if anybody rubs you the wrong way once, fuck them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I say this mm-hmm. all the time. And it's like that's it. That's that's crazy to me. Like that don't make no fucking sense to me. So when I say, or when you say, what it, what does she need to bring to the table? I'm not even in the stratosphere of like, you know, she got to have a house and a car. I don't, fuck all that. But what, but like, she has to have something. There's some qualities. Like what are? But that's not like a. Re- I mean, I that's why I say an His adult, right? I would assu- I would assume that an adult has some sort of means. To take to care, take of, care of themselves stuff. before they met me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you was doing before you met me and you was good and you was chilling, just keep doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know, for real. You like, can this, build the rest together. It's funny, you can but build the rest mm-hmm. together. It's, it sounds funny, but it's kind of true because it's like, 
take for instance y'all like y'all could be doing y'all pod doing whatever it is that y'all doing to bring uh money you know what I'm saying to y'all brand or y'all nine to fives or whatever mm -hmm. you doing all of that like individually without a without a dude but a lot of women was like as soon as they meet a dude it's like do all that other shit stop i would assume that it doesn't mm -hmm. but like the mindset at least in how women talk it's like all of that fucking stops and now all of that is his responsibility that don't make no fucking sense but this is the thing that i'll say about that i think that a lot of women well not even a lot some women who are that way they want to be taken care of they don't want to do those things they don't want to work they may want to get married have children stay home they may want to focus their energy on other things whatever that may be i don't think that's necessarily wrong i can totally see how that would not be a match for you <laughs> um i'm personally not that type of person but i know that's how some people are so it's like yeah if i do meet somebody who is stable and they can take care of me i don't want to work that's how some women really feel and so it's not that it's just supposed to stop but they do want it to stop they have no desire to work for the rest of their lives some women i think do really have very old school traditional ways of thinking they want the man to take care of them and they take care of home so and a lot of times you, they're how do you feel about it like oh, if, no. you, if you were dating someone and let's say he did have the means but he was on like a jack sip where he was like well no keep doing what you're doing and like we'll build something to, like we're gonna date and do this but like i well, I am seeing somebody and I have no desire to stop working. Mm -hmm. I, I've i never been that way. I have um, really big dreams and goals that are, you know, within my career. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to keep doing those. I actually don't want to be with somebody who would want me to quit my job and who wouldn't be supportive of the things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. And so there have been guys that I've dated in the past where they don't really want a woman out there doing things on their own. I personally felt like it was more of a control thing. I cannot stand that. But I like chasing my dreams, my career driven dreams. Mm -hmm. And just to add to the the bringing to the table or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to um, I want to admire my woman for something that she does. Mm -hmm. And if the bitch don't do shit, what am I going to be? What am I going to have admiration for? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to look at her and admire her drive or admire her what she wants to do or admire her career aspirations or whatever. Or just admire how she works, her work ethic or admire just I just want to admire something. So what Which, do you what think kind of it is about? women that when they get within a relationship or men it's not i'm not going to say it's just women because there are some men where you start dating them and they forget what they're doing mm -hmm. everybody's just wrapped up in each other yeah. why do you think people do that i don't know i maybe you maybe have you fun. ever done have you ever got so wrapped up in someone where you kind of did get off track a little bit never not not so wrapped up but i do think <laughs> like when you start dating somebody or getting a relationship with a relationship with somebody, you do feel like that sense of responsibility where you have to devote a certain amount of time mm -hmm. to this thing. Where naturally, if you take time to de to devote to something new, it's going to take away time from something that you were doing. Mm -hmm. So it's always going to be like, to answer your question, I think people just feel like that that burden or that responsibility of like, all right, I have to make sure that, that she's cool mm -hmm. first. And then I can go do the rest of my shit as opposed to let me make sure that my all my shit is in order, which probably enhance my chances of getting her. Let me put that first because don't no woman want to come second. So it's always tough for a dude to like really, truly because it's, it's so weird because you got to do all these things to get a, a quality woman. But when, once you get the quality woman in order to keep the quality woman, like you got to put her first. But mm -hmm. if you put her first, then this shit might lack. Right. But if this shit lacks, you might lose her. So, like, what the fuck? We, what am I supposed to fucking do? It can be difficult. Relationships are but very difficult. I feel like it's kind of more so, like, women have to give up a lot, though. A lot of times, because especially, like, women, like, that do podcasts or that are entrepreneurs or that are literally out here hustling. Like, a lot of men can't deal with the pressure of dealing with a, a boss. Mm. Like, they're like, well, why are you out here? Why are you doing that? Or why are you doing a club appearance? Or why are you at the studio later? These men are coming in and out. And I think, like, we have to give up. Well, I had to give up a lot. Like, when I was in a relationship, I'm like, <clears throat> he's upset because I'm out. And I'm like, dude, like, literally, this is, I have to network. I have to meet people. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in the city of Atlanta, you have to be around all these men in these positions. And I'm not out here fucking them, mm -hmm. but I got to be there. So I gave up a lot within my career. And I think women end up giving up a lot for men too. Like mm -hmm. I get what you're saying 100%, mm -hmm. but I feel like we give up a lot when it comes to relationships because we just 
want our nigga to be happy and we don't want no issues. Well, I think I I don't even think it's like we want him to be happy. I mean, we do want him to be happy, Mm -hmm. but I think naturally in a relationship, someone's gonna have to give up Mm -hmm. something. Like, Mm -hmm. do you feel like you've had to give up something um, that was focused on your career? Like you had to take a step back from your own goals? No, I feel like I gave up my relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was in a Mm -hmm. very long relationship and we both were just clashing. Everyone was trying to wanted to rightfully be selfish and do what they were doing and Carlos wanted to move to LA I didn't want to drop everything and move to LA and it was like a thing of like all right well I'm not going to do the relationship anymore I'm going to try to do what Medina's trying to do and Mm -hmm. it sucks but then it's also not a bad thing it's also a positive thing like I I don't know like I, I don't know what to when you give when you get don't like it's just I think when you find the right person that's really like your person, you guys, it'll be easier to find that balance. And you guys will be more patient, maybe, or you'll be able, you'll meet somebody who is communicative, and y'all can talk about it, and you'll be on the same page because that's what's meant to be. Hopefully, because niggas still be getting divorced. Like you know what? Mm. <laughs> okay. You also talked about the old-fashioned man versus the modern-day man, and when I tell you, I loved listening to that discussion. I mean, I wish you would have had some that different shit, guests. I'm yeah, not going to yeah, lie. No, I'm shit, not going to lie. That shit pissed me off. The girls. I wasn't that your friend. No, I mean, okay. not like my, no. Nah. The, dude, the dude was like my homie homie. But the girl, she was, uh, I mean, we cool, but that's not like like a, a day one or no shit like that. Yeah. Um, they both pissed me off, though. They, they were was, pissing they me off. I was yelling. I was like, say something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hell no. Oh, God. I was like, I'm so glad I don't have on headphones today. That would have been a bad one. <laughs> yeah. I was really sitting there like, like. You could tell you threw her off a little bit with mm. like your intellect and your point of view. You mm. had something to say. And so the old fashioned man, mm. what do you think that looks like? I think it looked like Trav on that episode. <laughs> um <laughs> I mean, I know y'all don't know Trav, but I shout out to trash. I thought you said trash too. Trick and Trav. Shout out to shout out to my nigga shout Trav. That's Trav. that's my guy. But he was the dude on that particular episode. Um and he's just like he he is a nigga who will pretty much like pay for everything. He puts the woman's wants, not her needs, but her wants first. Mm-hmm. Ahead of him, ahead of logic, ahead of <laughs> sustainability, ahead of oh. uh being practical, ahead ahead <laughs> of intelligence. Anything to keep her happy because he really uh believes happy wife, happy life. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. Um there you know, is he's some just, truth. To I mean, that statement. There is, but it's just, I like to argue the opposing view of that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, th- I, I agree that there is some truth to it. But he just wants to go to work, wants to give his girl the check so she can just take care of whatever shit is going on in the house. He wants children. And all, mind you, all these things aren't bad, right? But he doesn't, he doesn't believe in therapy. Oh, he doesn't God. believe in uh, anything modern. He don't he don't dress modern. He don't he don't think modern. He he he's dead. he's a he what drinks does he, wear? Wait. he drinks scotch. He like I like scotch. But no, like <laughs> out of the like the old white I men like on to, on like a Goodfellas grab. movie. Like he, but but he also because all of those things aren't bad. But he also uh, he doesn't really have one hundred percent respect for women, in my mm. opinion. Mm. And some might say the same about me. For for different reasons, but I don't think he kind of looks at women as. So are we saying the old fashioned men don't really have respect for women? Because of bec- like, for me, I I don't I don't know if I can say that outright, but I think there is an inkling of like an ego thing where it's like if I'm the man and I'm paying for everything and I'm doing you everything, don't have a voice. then I'm gonna be the absolute last say, no matter. I'm not even gonna take your suggestions. Mm-hmm. Like we we See? doing what I want to do because I'm the man. Mm-hmm. I run the house. I do this. I like you know what I'm saying. Um, and you know just like little like comments like oh you know all women are crazy or you know women take too long. Mm-hmm. Like even though it might, some of this shit might be true, it's just like the way the tone of a lot of the things that he believes in is just. So basically, what it comes down to is the old fashioned man is gonna, man is gonna take care of the woman and pay for everything and make sure financially everything's straight and the modern man is like bitch you you need to work not even well i need a hybrid i don't think i don't want to even that though but it's just like but some but some of the negative traits of old-fashioned men are niggas used to have different families because they could 
Niggas used to uh, cheat because they could. What was she gonna say? Where was she gonna go? Like niggas used to come in. A, niggas niggas would just come in the house, okay. expect the ex, expect the meal, expect for their shit to be ironed or mm-hmm. clothes set out. Don't want to hear no fucking chatter from their woman. They just want to go in their in their recliner and watch TV and have her shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Like shit, like that. Like I'm not. So I don't believe lack of respect. Yeah, that's exactly. It's that's what I'm saying. It's a huge lack of respect. Like I don't. Mm-hmm. Like I don't believe in that. Like if I'm in a if I'm in a relationship. Or a situation or whatever with you, like I want to respect you and whatever it is that you do. Like I want this to be a team effort. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be. I don't want to have to be fucking Jordan every fucking night. Who's like Jordan? nigga, hit some Michael shots, Jordan. Nigga. Like Michael Jordan. Jordan? Oh. <laughs> Oh, hitting shots. Well, I don't get like, it. Okay. Like, like hitting a, shots. Like, like, uh, like you're the star. You're making. You're doing he everything. You're the star of the team. Uh, we have to do everything. Like, uh, we're you want a, teamwork. Like, teamwork. Yeah, like teamwork. if we if we if we a team. I was like, like Jordan. Yeah, what's Jordan doing? What are we doing? Oh man. I feel you. Teamwork. Teamwork is important in a relationship mm-hmm. today at least i mean it mm-hmm. should have been important in a relationship why are you breathing hard <laughs> <laughs> keep going no, 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 no. because i don't think that i don't think that i would call that the traditional man what would you call the traditional man i would say it's an old school toxic man because those are like such negative I call things him an i don't fashion man i didn't put traditional okay well i think that some of those things they did happen but everybody who has like an old school mentality it doesn't always go so far as to not respecting right, the woman they're, 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 they're with yeah and like i'm still together there was no i, I think my grandfather is i think my grandfather is very much an old-fashioned man and there's certain things that he does just like i think that my grandmother is old-fashioned in a certain way but i don't really feel like they have a lot of the toxic behaviors that are attached to that. It's not like shut up and cook clean and cook and, you know, run around with babies all day. I they do have think more it depends balance. on what you what was your experience and what mm-hmm. did you see when you because I my experience with an old fashioned man, which I would look at my dad and my grandfather. Um, that wasn't that wasn't going on either. That toxicness. Mm-hmm. Um, but you talked about something else where. You this was this really made me think like am I really only fucking the men that approach me? That whole conversation. <laughs> what do you mean? They had a conversation, a discussion about like how and the girl you almost you got her because she thought that she was making mm-hmm. a point and she really wasn't making a point. She right. made us all look dumb. It was <laughs> all like, the women. She made women look dumb. She oh, was like, man. you need to if I want to talk to somebody, well, he needs to approach me. And then Jack's kind of like called her on it, like, well, so well, isn't only- that what he's saying? Well, what he was saying that you're only fucking the guys that talk to you. Yeah, like you're only oh, sis. gonna get <laughs> right. who oh, is man. gonna come and holler at you. And so yeah. it made me think, like, like you really not. How me. often in our mm-hmm. our lives, ladies? And I really want everybody to be honest. Don't sit here and try to be like sounding good for cocktails. <laughs> like, I hate when bitches do that. And niggas, and everybody, be like, <laughs> let me tell you, as a woman, and I know you a whole thought on Instagram with your bitch ass. You start with that. You're about you to be like, like, as a woman, and we all done made mistakes, but it made me wonder how often do you actually see a man he's fine you in whole foods he's picking up his red cabbage he has a glowing beard you can oh see it God. glistening the whites of his eyes are white <laughs> his teeth are yeah. glowing i mean he's just gorgeous he doesn't even look at you but you want to talk to him mm. when's the last time how many times in your life have you ever like gone to holler at a nigga and you're not even worried about if he was gonna come holler at you you're like i want that and i'm gonna go holler at him i don't do that I'm toxic as fuck. I do it all the time. I <laughs> Why do you say it's toxic? Because I'll give my number. Well, okay, so sometimes I'll give my number out and I just like, just for the thrill of seeing if he's going to call. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, and then he you don't does, And I just don't talk to him anymore. Oh my God. I'm toxic. I'm so well, you don't toxic. talk to him anymore because he didn't call. No, no. They call. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They call. <laughs> she said they to call. see if they call. Oh. Just to see if they're going to call okay. or follow up, but... I, I, don't, I don't care. If, like, if I think well, you're not, so why did you do that? I don't care. I'm talking about you see someone. He's you fine. So the guy, so the, okay, so you want him. The guy that I talk to kind of, nah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Whatever. The guy that I'm seeing or not seeing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the nigga. The most recent one. Singing. The most recent. <laughs> you I, approached him. I approached him. <laughs> okay. So, and what did you say or what happened? Fine. Like, well, I got on Twitter and I was like, y'all, I really want to talk to this guy. What should I do? And they're like, just do it. I was like, fuck it. So I slid in his DM like, yo, like, let's go grab a drink. Kiki? I already said I'm not doing that. Oh, you did yeah. say you're not doing that. No, we can skip me. Jack, why not those? 
Um, honestly, I get really shy. Like if I see a guy who I'm really attracted to, I get really, really shy and I start like overthinking everything. Like I'll think about approaching him, but then I probably talk myself out of it. I'll be thinking for 30 minutes and he's gone by the time I get my lines together. Do you together. give him like a look or like... I'll oh, give like, a look, but I don't feel like that counts. No, it counts. No, it doesn't. It, no, 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 that's not that's approaching like, a, a guy a, it's though. A, it's a work, work up to it doesn't But if I never you're, you're say anything... trying to test the limits like I'm gonna get him to come talk to me. Yeah, it's like me trying oh, to lure him in. Him. No. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean like me get up out of my seat and go over there and talk to oh, him man. because I'm attracted to him or send him a drink and then say something. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that shit. I practice on guys I'm not attracted to. That doesn't count. Y'all are, y'all are trash. It's so oh, funny. Yes. I gotta get his yeah. number. I'm, 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 oh, I'm in the two light skinned women in the room. <laughs> y'all trash. We're not going there. Wow. We're not going Is there. Is that what we did? We're going. Okay. All We're right. Going. Oh, I'm right. done. Um, so, wait, how did it make you feel, though? It, when, you, when you saw it? When I saw you say that? It made me really question. It. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what just happened to me. Like it made me really question myself. Like I don't want to live my life like that. I don't want to live a life where it's like I see a man that I want to talk to, and I'm just not going to say anything because he didn't say anything to me. And it actually goes against like everything I'd be talking about. But I don't often holler at dudes. However, mm-hmm. I can count on one hand in my lifetime how many times that I have. And they didn't really turn out how I wanted it to, but there was one that did. I approached him in a hotel bar and went mm-hmm. to go talk to him and everything. It was like, I didn't, it was crazy because I think it's a confidence thing. You don't think you can get him. You think that you can only get who comes to holler at you. You're like, oh, he thinks I'm pretty and that's really like, or he's attracted to me in some way. Mm-hmm. And it made me feel so good. When you, when I heard you talk about that, it just gave me another challenge in my life to be like, if I see somebody I want to talk to, I'm going to walk up to them and be like, are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Oh. Is there anyone that could think that? Girlfriend. How often does that happen though? That you see somebody that you're attracted oh, to and you want to Oh, it happens to me all the time. I'm talking about, when I keep saying Whole Foods, I see niggas all the time in Whole, Whole Foods. Whole Foods in the, it's the one across <laughs> from the St. Regis all the time. Well, that makes sense. It's by the St. Regis. Yeah. And so I, it has really, I, I am challenging myself to, if I see someone who I'm interested in, whether it be on social media or I see them in the gas, at the gas station, I'm going to start acting like y'all. I'm coming out. Like, what's up? What's up? Maybe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what's like I'm, what's, what's, I think you're beautiful and I would love to go on a date. Your beard is really nice. What's crazy you're gonna say beautiful. is... <laughs> what, what's I think crazy, you might want to use some milk. <laughs> <laughs> you're really handsome. What's crazy, though, Sexy. is like, because it happens so rarely, like... Like, I feel like uh, niggas would be, like, really, truly, like, flattered. I think so, that. too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's, it's so out of the ordinary um, for that to happen. And it, it gives us the feeling that you saying that, that it gives you when niggas try to talk to you because you know already mm-hmm. all from the rip that they like you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just such a... That takes a lot of the pressure off, mm-hmm. for real. Like, when you know... And that's probably why y'all, why y'all do it. Like, why y'all would prefer... To have somebody to approach you, cause fuck, mm-hmm. who wouldn't? Mm-hmm. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. oh shit! <laughs> that was gonna be bad. But yeah, um, you're a chameleon. It's a guy. great discussion to have. It is because, but I also think, like in our defense, we were raised like that. Like, we yeah, grew up yeah. in a society where it's like you don't you let him come to you. Mm-hmm. You yeah. let that man. Yeah. And while I'm still not, about, like, if I do approach you, nigga, you still paying for the date and planning it. I'll plan it, but like you still, I'm not. You're not. You're not gonna do reverse psychology on me with that shit. You still <laughs> paying for the paying date. for the day. Oh hell no. And you, and I will plan it, but like, all right, like I'll only go so far. But that did make me just make sure if I see something that i want at least try yeah even with my men yeah that was just it was just wild to me though because like i just talked to so many women even on our pod like we talk about that shit a lot and i always be challenging them to like they always you know they often come with stories about how they fucking with these fucked up uh these fuck niggas or these dudes who like did them who you allowed in your life whatever but like the excuse with that is like is always women talking to men saying well you the one who came in my life and like disrupted my shit and you mm-hmm. wanted to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? But this, we like I was them. saying, it's like a built-in excuse. It's like, it's built in for you to be able to use that as a loophole to basically blame niggas that you allowed in your life. Like, all right, well, shut all that shit down. Shut the fuck up and go pick your niggas then. Has go a on. woman ever approached you? Yeah. Oh, you didn't like it. Look at you. What's I'm not saying, really yeah, now? She's no, a little forward. Saying, I didn't really no, like I mean, her they, style. No, no, no. I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not. I'm not frowning mm-hmm. at the fact that you literally 
frown. So what are you yeah, frowning at? The fact that they approach me, I'm just picturing the women who approach me. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. But you That's also it. don't approach women. Yeah, did no. you still get Wait, your number? What? I did. Wait, Even though you didn't want him. Toxic. Yeah, yeah, I did. Now you see Why did you do that, here, Jax? Now because, it's just... No, because I appreciated the effort. And I would have... Did they... Did you... When they hit you up... They texted you. I talked to him. Why, Are though? you playing? How's that playing? You Were you practicing? You, you just know. called us out. But that don't necessarily mean we got to have a fucking relationship. That's not about you fucking. Be, I'm fine. Bro, nigga. It's not to be I don't to want to go to Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> I don't I'm not doing this pizza. to play no games. I'm trying to holler. And we going on dates. And we kissing each other in the mouth. One day. After a day? day not one. after it's a day, but one day. 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 Oh, 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 one day. <laughs> if I asked you one day, day. Okay, okay, I'm okay, saying okay. if I do go approach <laughs> someone, it's not like I'm like, like we would be great <laughs> friends unless I do, we meet in a cool setting and it's like, let's be homies, like you're cool as shit. But if I see you at the gas station, my nigga, I'm not rolling up to be your home girl. So don't true. give me your number if you don't want that. It's not how home girls are formed. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not. <laughs> I think that goes back to you being the nice guy. Okay. And you don't want to shoot a girl down in her face and make right. her feel bad. Because I know how so that like, feels. I know how that feels. Like, you don't even know how have to make people feel bad. The way that I shut niggas down when they ask for my number and I'm not giving it to you, it's not even you're gonna you're not gonna be heartbroken or how sad. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really don't get my number out. But if we run into each other in another place in time, maybe. Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> I, I just go with the regular <laughs> line. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> 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 oh, having a boyfriend does not work anymore. They're like, they don't, don't care. They don't, don't have another friends. line of questioning. I just questioning. like, no, no. They just Sometimes keep I say, no, no, I said that wrong. one time and he was like, well, you stealing your Nissan. He obviously, and I was like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he's like, you gonna cry this piece on you gonna cry this it's like, damn, I was sitting like, well, he's working on some things. <laughs> that hurts. Oh my God. I love him for him. That's my babe. Oh, oh my shit. So um, ruthless. They not care. They, they say whatever. Don't. They don't care about a boyfriend. Anything. They don't care about a husband. husband. They, they don't care if you lie and say you're a lesbian. Yeah. They don't care about none of that. Y'all just y'all gotta y'all start saying a modern day man. You gotta start saying that you're a uh, trans. I'm not I'm saying not that. that. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm not gonna. I just tell them I'm toxic as fuck. You don't want to be on this roller coaster. If you really don't want them to mess, you just be like, are you trying to pay a bill? And that nigga will run. Oh my but God. then what if they, unless they want to pay a bill? It's a win-win. Then, you gotta get the number. then it's a win-win. <laughs> you gotta I'm get the number. Right? <laughs> right? 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 We can be besties, sure. No, look, here's my bill. Thanks. Um, oh, this is great. We had uh, so many other things on this list to talk about, but we're going to move on to Indecisive Diane. And then y'all are going to help us with some advice and be thinking of your cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look so ashamed. Oh, my God. What you do? Life. <laughs> Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, Diane, so what cute little date idea do you have for us this week? Hey, ladies, it's me, indecisive Diane. And let me tell you about this cute little upscale steak and seafood chain known for its clubby environment. And they got a happy hour. But listen, if you're going with a man that has money, don't worry about the happy hour. So listen, it's called McCormick and Schmick's. Schmick, mm-hmm, that's what it's called. McCormick and Schmick's Seafood and Steaks. What's the address, girl? Here's the address. It's 190 Marietta Street, Northwest Atlanta, Georgia, 30303. They close at 10 p.m. Go there. Tell them I sent you. You're going to love it. Thanks, girl. No problem, ladies. You know what? It's so funny because in Texas, I had my uh, my mom planned my graduation dinner at McCormick and Schmicks, and I was so mad because all I wanted was a car. And I, the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> she spent all this money on this expensive ass dinner, paid for everybody. It was like thirty people, and I was sitting there. I was like, Mecca, that's my sister. I'm like, Am I getting a car? Is it gonna pull up? Oh, Is it gonna pull, up? girl? And Mecca was like, Really? Stop asking. You're not getting a car. You're making mom and dad feel very poor. And I was like, Okay, <gasps> you're making mom and dad feel poor. <laughs> Never got. It. Never, never got it. Aww. Oh my God. Okay. Well, now it's time for advice, you guys. Remember, if you want to email us for advice from two girls who are trying to figure it out themselves, mm-hmm. email us at ask 
cocktails at gmail.com. I have one pulled up. The subject line says vibrator or the D upstairs. So this person writes in, we'll call her O. She says um, she's a junior at a small college in Massachusetts. Um, I went away for a semester and I was well fed and exercised when I was there. I wasn't fucking up the whole city, but I got mine for those three months. Now being back, I don't know if it's listening to the show and withdrawals, but I want to continue my routine. But as I mentioned before, I go to a small college in my junior year. Everyone is either paired up or already developed and still ain't it. So I have nothing to choose from. However, there is a little big man. What? There's a little big man with whom I've had weird moments, if you will, back and forth along the years. We never had sex or even kissed, but the flirting was always there. And last year we were talking about actually fucking relationships, schedules and my semester um, my semester away always came in the way. Now, for last semester, when I was away and coming home from break for for school event. I tested the waters and messaged him asking him to hang out after. We're grown, so he knew what that meant. However, this man goes, I'm kind of talking to someone and I don't want to ruin it. Like who, boy? Damn. Since coming back, I've kept my space and I try to keep my drunk, sexy looks to myself when I see him out. This past weekend, though, I don't know if it was because I was high and on my period, but he was eyeing me. He even came up and had his arm on my shoulder for mad long dancing with me in public. So now I'm all confused. Well, girl, what you confused about? It's a dance. She, she needs to say what she want. Like we were talking about hollering at the niggas. Mm. That's this is a prime example of that. Well, she did try to holler, and he said she, he don't want to ruin his current situation. Anyway, should I bring the conversation up again in hopes of getting dick that is comfortable and lives right upstairs from me, or not read into the hit, leave him alone, and get a vibrator for my hornball ass? I'm not trying to get embarrassed again, you know, or look like I'm begging. I just want to get my pussy ate after class, or maybe if I do try again, approach him differently. Please let me know this dry spell is getting tired um also here's my instagram so you can put a face to the story i won't be sharing that um mm. i feel like you should get a vibrator because your yeah. your dry spell is not i feel like you're gonna like him and it's gonna turn because you wrote a letter if you just wanted to fuck a nigga and fuck the nigga and be done, you would have just fucked the nigga mm-hmm. and been done. You wrote a whole letter to a whole podcast and you waiting on the advice <laughs> bitch get the vibrator Get the vibrator and download Tinder or something where you can find a quick hookup mm-hmm. relatively easily. There could be people that are not at your school that you could right fuck that live in Don't the town. He might work nigga. at Walmart or the locals Lowe's or are something. Bad when you're in college, locals. <sighs> but the great thing about the today's vibrator, advice why? is we have a man here, a yeah. great man that has a great head on his shoulder and he <laughs> loves giving people his opinion. Mm-hmm. So what would you tell this young woman to do? Yeah, she said I had one shoulder. She said it had a great head on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? That's what she heard. Can you not say shoulder? everything tonight. That's what you heard. <laughs> One shoulder. Oh, um, no. I'm going to have to agree with y'all, man. Don't fuck that nigga, bro. Because mm-hmm. what will right he do? What will he, tell yeah. her what he'll do if she does fuck him. First of all, he's in a situation? He's in a yes, situation. Yes, he told her no the first time she asked. He was like, no, I'm already in a situation. Oh, I don't want to fuck it up. First like, he told you, know, you no. Listen. If he's a good dude, he's going to turn you down again. For That's number <laughs> one. If you do actually be like, all right, and you look thirsty, that's that's number two. If you ask him twice, um, but if he does actually smash, like you said, like it does seem like she likes him. Mm-hmm. He's not gonna like you back. He got a girl. You just a bitchy fucking who live downstairs. Yeah. And please don't knock on my fucking door. <laughs> oh, she gonna knock on the door. One. She like, definitely gonna get in her feelings and knock on the fucking door. And you might hear him plowing his real bitch <sighs> upstairs, and then you really gonna be mad. Don't do Don't it. fuck this. This thing. everything. I mean, you have <laughs> every red flag. Not Don't do it. And if you decide to do it, ma'am. Her feelings are going to be so hurt. Your oh feelings are going to be hurt. You're going to be sitting in the bathtub listening Sick. to Beyonce. Let us save you from yourself, girl. Do, do not. Meet another man. Yeah. She go out and go holler She's at definitely gonna She is. Gonna she is. The sad part is she is. <laughs> I have a brand new vibrator. She already vibrator. fucked it. Yeah. She already she fucked it. She fucked up my fucking five days ago. I have a brand new vibrator at home that is still wrapped up in the plastic. Sis, do not fuck him. If you DM me your address, I will mail you this vibrator. So you don't have to buy one. You're a college student. Do not fuck this man. How she look? You can mail me to her house <laughs> <laughs> i didn't pull up her instagram so i don't know we'll pull it up later <laughs> She's i don't like it. yeah she put it at the end i don't like looking at people's instagram while we're face. filming yeah and people be, no, yeah, yeah no and then some bad. people were like oh she's so pretty and then some people were just like uh, and then some people just move on 
Okay. And even if they're pretty and you move on, it's just like, well, damn. Well, okay. She's like a person. <laughs> All right. Okay, next She's one. <laughs> okay. Here. He says, what's good, fam? Hey. Scenario. So my girlfriend got locked up about a week ago. Is that oh, how it damn. went? About a week ago. And <laughs> after talking to the lawyer, she may have to stay in there for another week or two. Still waiting for the court date. Damn. Before she went in there, we would have sex all the time. But now I'm left with Pornhub. You only watching Pornhub? Oh, my God. And let's be real. Ain't nothing like the real thing. So that gave me the idea to hit up this chick that me and my girl occasionally have threesomes with. I decided to propose the question over drinks, and she's with it. Her only condition was she wants to be able to stay over to assist in getting her out. Of jail? Uh, which I can totally understand because they were friends before we even met. So at this point, I'm thinking how to inform my girl or if I should mention it at all. And the reason I say that is because the first time they had solo sex, my girl mentioned it to me a day later. Did you leave a part of the story out? I'm, And now the way the vibe is set up, they have solo sex every now and then, which is fine because I... Because when I get home, it's popping all over again. And I mentioned this just to relay how comfortable we all are with each other. So my question is, should I reach out to my girl about this solo smash? Or will asking just create thoughts in her head that can get out of control? Or should I just smash and then mention it when she gets out? Kind of <laughs> like she did. What could go wrong? What to do? Part two coming when she gets out. I feel like people be writing their whole thing and then answering their own question. Nigga, you, she's in jail. If you're going to do it, then do it and never speak of it again. Yeah. 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 I mean, what is the worst that can happen? She locked up. She can't get she to can't you. Get she can't key yeah. your car. She can't do anything. And All we she got can do you out. We collectively got you I would not out. tell but her my that. my thing is, like, I don't understand what's the point in telling this yeah. bitch. She's in jail. She is going to be mad. She's in jail. Because he wants to tell her before the other girl does. You mm -hmm. think the other girl would? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is a messy situation. Like this is, homies, you know? Yeah, no. Don't, don't do it. Don't fuck her. Fuck another girl if you want to fuck somebody. And don't tell nobody. But Please, take only, it to the grave. His girl only been in jail a week. You can't not fuck bitches for a week? You're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, he the one well, talking about it. No, no, I'm talking to homies. Me, like, just wait till your girl get out and fuck both of them. You're well, right. like guilt free. But he don't know when she getting out right until the he lawyer. Said said, oh, she's yeah. been in there for Maybe. a week. A week is a long time, so she might not be able to get out for a minute. Like, you know, you get pulled over for like a suspended license. You're not going to stay in jail for a week, yeah, unless nobody has any money, yeah. That's and then y'all should break up anyway. But well, what our good friend work. Jax is saying is, young man, can you <laughs> practice patience and like, self control? Meanwhile, because we're over here technically, like, we even if she's in there thing. for a month, it's like my nigga, it's she might be there for two years. Coronavirus is out here. <laughs> you need to sit your little black ass down and calm down. Do we know black? No. <laughs> 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 I was like, damn, they put their race on there? Wow. <laughs> so, uh, no. We don't know he black. That's funny. We don't. Um, mm -hmm. All right, well, y'all mm -hmm. in a cheating ass <laughs> mood this week. Wow. I'm like, fuck her and don't say nothing. The crazy thing is also with him, with, with this young man, he done already fucked the friend. Wow. You already fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. That's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. Mm -hmm. I hope your girlfriend doesn't talking, listen to yeah. this when she gets out. Or if they have like good internet in there, I don't know. The, the technology with the prisons is coming a long yeah. way. So the, and the phone sneaking in is really crazy. Yeah, I had a jail friend, and he was um, listening to the show in there. He had headphones, and I'm like, "Don't they think you could strangle somebody with those? This seems dangerous." But I guess it wasn't. Maybe that was wireless. They weren't. I saw him. We were on FaceTime while he was in prison. He showed yeah, me a tour of his now, thing. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to, of course, but, you know, they do all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Rollo just did an interview on uh, somebody's podcast that the other day crazy. from prison that is on the phone and it was yelling at the COs. And I was like, this is very ghetto, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's time for us to move on to the cocktails. Remember, if you want to share one of your cocktails, you can email it to us, cocktails.atl at gmail.com. Com. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 U
dot com. Okay. What are you looking at me like that for? Like, what the fuck does that Do y'all have a shared cocktail? No. Did something happen together? <laughs> oh, is that I what we're giggling about? No, no. Like, no. Like, what I the hell is going on? You can see me thinking, like, what am I going to say? Do y'all have yours ready or do you need us to go first? You should go first. Okay. Well, I'm just reading. So, um, Jax, you're going next. Okay. So, hope you have your cocktail. This one says, hoodwinked by the dick. This sounds like this is going to be a horrible experience. I would like some, though. Hoodwinked? Uh, hoodwinked. I don't know what that means. Okay. Well, just Google it. I'm going to start reading. Okay. Hey, ladies. I'm not going to take too much time with the intro because Kiki is going to. Yep, I sure did. I'm skipping all of this. Okay. So, remember Coach Zaddy with the bomb ass dick and sex that had me thanking God? Mm -mm. Well,. I think I just did that one like a couple weeks ago. Okay, I was supposed to be blessed last Saturday after the concert, but what he do? Stunt. So okay, for, fast forward to Monday, he hit he hit me up wanting to see, wanting to see me, and we agreed. To, I said I want some too. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear. Damn. I didn't hear. <laughs> that escalated so quickly. That like, that was so <laughs> okay. Um. Blah blah blah. He hitting her up. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> we agreed to 9.30 so now he want to reschedule and as much as it hurts my pussy's feelings I told him nah it's cool have a good night sir because he was on that fuck shit so well I always keep a spade in my back pocket so I had already popped my she orgasm spills I know that's right sis and I wasn't about to let them go to waste so I had recently been reconnected with the old fuck buddy we'll call him B and I had him waiting just because I knew coach daddy might pull the BS he pulled so before so I told B to come on so it's been years since B and I have fucked and he sent me a pic earlier in the day attached for y'all to view yeah it's a dick pic in there i didn't delete the wow. email so you can go look at it if you'd like okay so i prayed please let his dick be as big as it looks in his pic and please let him know what he is doing with it and please let him still eat my pussy in all these things i pray a dick okay so he gets there and once we get to it baby he is a pussy eating monster i was like yes had me running a little bit and shit his head game is amazing but y'all y'all shaking my damn head Why? when it came to the dick where was the dick in the fucking picture i mean he kind of had the width and the length i mean you know that saying the motion of the ocean well he kind of had that but nigga i need the motion of the ocean and a nice size boat for the ocean i was disappointed i was ready for my guts to be touched and they were maybe tickled a little sigh i got hoodwinked by his dick is this karma for thanking god for the dick last week lol anyways thanks for reading ladies your girl tt Come on, what Tee -tee. is on this? Wow, this is a strange. I hope that no one has ever sent any of my body parts to an email on a podcast. <sighs> That's why you just got to make sure when you take the pictures that they cry look good before you out. send them out. I just crop out my yeah. head because I'm you not, never know what's going to happen. I'm not good at that though. You know, I, send, I mean, out. my face being my in face and I just think like the, the picture just has to be right. So this could really end up bad for I me. Just crop my head up. I'm like, damn, my and all, I just started doing this this year because of this one. Really? Well, and it was fun, wasn't it? It was fun, okay. but then I'd be like, the yeah, next morning, have, like, have your pictures been leaked to the internet? No. I don't want it. No. I'm, but I'm gonna keep doing it, but it's not gonna be. The same. No one's gonna turn out like him, gay. She was a, <laughs> once, once a, a long one time. hit wonder. Jax. Um. All right. I'll tell my uh when I lost my virginity. Right. How old were you? I was twenty. Ooh. And um. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> um, I kind of like, all right, so I lost my virginity in, in Dallas. It was on spring break. Uh, I went to school in Baton Rouge, but we went mm. to Dallas for like a week or whatever. And every now and like, I would wake up, like, I was a proud virgin. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't, like, really give a fuck about it because it was, like, for a reason or whatever. So, like, some, but some days I would wake up. And I'd be like, all right, I'm going to stay a virgin today. And then other days I would wake up and I'd be like, if I had the chance to fuck, like I'm fucking mm. or whatever. So I just so happened to wake up in that mood. And I remember me and my homies, we was uh, we went out to a club like a night before. I met this girl, got her number. And then the next day we woke up, we went to lunch at like this Mexican spot. And Did the you girl, get tacos? I did. <laughs> yeah. I love tacos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, then, it's a thing. And this yeah. girl... She hit me up like later, like later that day. And uh she was like, come through. I was like, all right, bet. So I went over there. She like, she gave me like the 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 at the time, probably like the best head of my life. Mm 
And it was the first girl to like to swallow or whatever for me because like where I'm from or at least the way that I grew up like chicks would always be like let me know when you bought the nut so I could so Aww. you could not nut in my mouth basically I remember those days <laughs> I never said it with my words but I just always know when you're about to nut so I just I always wanted to do it so I never <laughs> 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 oh, I'm bad. <laughs> so, so she she sucked my dick. I bust. She swallowed. I'm about to I bust. T- <laughs> 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 <It's hard. laughs> so you know what I'm saying. I chill, but she didn't know that I was a virgin, right? So after she, that was just like the preliminary in her mind. Like mm-hmm. she wanted to actually fuck after that or whatever. But at that point in time, like that. That was the best hot I ever got. So, like, my dick was dead at that mm. point or whatever. <laughs> but she was trying to get me back in the mood mm-hmm. by, like, giving me a massage. So, like, I turned over. She was like, let me massage your back or whatever. So, she did that. She was, like, kissing my back, licking my back, what have you. And she kind of, like, got to, like, the middle of my back or whatever. And I was just still, you know, chilling. In my mind, I was thinking, like, this ain't going to get my dick back hard. But, you know, I'll take the mm. massage and shit. I appreciate you. And she, like... She got like lower, like in my lower back. And then like I started I kinda like perked up, like, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> and and like she just kinda like spread my ass cheeks and like licked it. <laughs> and like I was like, Whoa. So you got your nut swallowed and your ass ate. Yeah. At the same night. night. Yeah. Yeah. I just what a day. started licking booty. But <laughs> I told you. And <laughs> But I had like I told you I had got Mexican food earlier, Ooh. so like I had like taken a shit before I went to the crib. You wipe good. So I mean, fresh. I definitely wiped, but, but I didn't shower. Dude yeah, wipes were not around. Back they then. weren't oh, right. They weren't so bad. But like she got more than like stuff. one lick. Oh, like she was really in there or whatever. I was like, damn, this so bitch gross. nasty as fuck. Little dingleberry. Uh, that's all you're thinking Did about. Did you kiss her after? So I went, no, because I felt bad. You didn't feel bad. You let I her did. do it. No. You what was I going to say? No, no, no. I took a shit. You didn't like, like, no. Oh, no. I can come up with the best excuse. I can come with the best excuse when I'm really like, either I'm on my period and I don't want to tell you, or I did take a shit and I didn't take a shower. I'm like, look. Mm-mm. I don't be saying that. <laughs> like, you know, I'm trying to play with it. I really think we need to talk about some things. Stop. Come up. Like, are you trying to fool me? Yeah. Like, please stop. I don't want to do stop. this. Like, I really want to just talk and lay. Um, please so stop. we never. So that was like the. That was at maybe like two in the morning. We never did actually fuck, but later mm. that day it was Easter. Like later that day. <laughs> <laughs> No, it really was. It really, I lost my virginity on Easter. Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, why were you being a virgin? You trying to be celibate for Jesus? No, nah, for oh. Je- nah. I was just like, I didn't really believe in like relationships and shit in high school because everybody I knew who was in a relationship was like fucking other people. So I was mm-hmm. like, y'all niggas stupid. So and I just wasn't. I I was trying to play like I was focused on baseball. Okay. Or whatever. Gotcha. So like I didn't want to have no kids. I had a legit fear of AIDS. Like I thought I had a, like a That's phobia. Like, it's a good fear. No, no, but it was like. It was, like, crazy it was like a phobia, though. And gotcha. um, and then once I got once I finished high school and went to college, I went to a black school, and I didn't want to, like, fuck a girl poorly, and then she dragged my name through the mud. Because that will happen. <laughs> there were sites made. Oh, uh, remember so- Juicy Campus? <laughs> girl. Oh, I was like, please don't let me be on the site. When I found out those sites, let me just look at them. I was never on any of those sites. So, like, the next, that well, it was the same day, but just maybe, like, maybe, like, 14 or 15 hours later... Um, I had linked up with this with this girl, just like she was like a reacher or some shit, and she wanted to take my virginity. She knew I was a virgin, or whatever. So, but my nigga was, we was all in the crib. It was like five dudes. No, it was like it was like six. Was it? One of the dudes. Was, me, one of the no dudes. Was not it was more. No, it was no more idea. dudes than girls. It was okay. like five girls and six dudes. They was trying to play a game like, yo, l- let me see your titties. But the chicks was, was like, the the, the, but, the, but, the, but, but the chicks was also like, we're not showing y'all shit unless y'all pull y'all dicks out. And I was what like, game nah, was like on Easter? I'm at, right, though, right? I was like, what game yeah, 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 was it? Like, yeah. like, it was on spring, spring Easter, break clearly. shit. But I was like, I'm not about to be in this kitchen while y'all niggas pulling me though. Like, I'm going to be over <laughs> here until y'all take care of that situation or whatever. So my weird friend. He was like, shit, I'll pull my dick out. I don't give a fuck. So he, he, we all exit the kitchen. He pull his dicks out or his dick out or whatever. And then we go back in when he's all zipped up. Then they start pulling their titties out or whatever. So naturally, oh, you know how you, when you're in a group setting, 
everybody kind of like pairs up mm -hmm. or whatever. So we all kind of paired up. But the nigga who pulled his dick out, ain't nobody want him because he was like the weird friend. So he was feeling a kind of way because mm -hmm. he felt like he like really like kicked it off. So me and a girl go in the room. It's me and a girl on one bed. It's my homie and another girl on another bed. And we just like on the bed chilling or whatever. And then it's the weird friend just in the corner. So it was. It came a point in time where my other my homie who was on the bed, they got up and left. So now it was just me and a girl and then my homie in the corner. Mm -hmm. and just, he just wouldn't fucking leave. So long story short. She was like riding. The long me. story wasn't short. It I'm was sorry. Long. It was long. She's good though. I'm sorry. So she started riding me, but like he was like fake sleeping, like in the corner still. And she was, on, she, was on, she was on. She was on. She was on top of me, and she would like. She would like give me like I don't know, like maybe three or four like bounces, and then she'd be like, <laughs> "Oh my god, I think he's watching us." And I'm like, nah, nah, he ain't watching. He sleep or whatever. And she like that just that was how I lost my virginity, basically with another nigga in the room watching. And it was just super weird. You and had I a never very exciting experience. You had a lot going on in one day. You had somebody watching you. Yeah. You had sure. your ass ate. You got the <laughs> you cum swallow. I know. Man. You just wrapped it up all in one. So maybe boys and girls, you should wait too, and you can get a lot at one. And and with, your, with your with your weird you friend go. in the corner, <laughs> hoping yeah. that he gets a bounce too. Strange. Courtney, do you have a cocktail? Really quickly. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I'm, I'm, okay. long with it. I'm sorry. It. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Um, so really quick. So I was on a break with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. We were broken Those up. We were, we were toxic as fuck. We shouldn't have been together. Mm. Whatever. But we were on a break. That. And so Me a guy too. that I used to date in college, he was in town. And so we all like kind of like a college meetup. Everybody kind of was hanging out. We got together. He so they were like 45 minutes from my apartment. So I was like out in the city. And so he was like, well, I'm going to just go home with you. And I'm like, okay, cool. The guy that I was dating in college. He hops in my car. We take the 45-minute drive to my apartment. That's that real, I Ooh. want that pussy. Yeah, because like, he was just going to stay the night because he was up, he was up yeah, in yeah, town. Yeah, he was just so going to stay the night. Yeah, yeah. I pulled up to my apartment, <laughs> and my ex-boyfriend's car is in the freaking driveway. And so I'm like, okay. Well, we obviously can't go in because he's there. I for completely forgot he had a key because it had been such, a, it was a while. So I'm just like, you didn't call, you didn't text, you're just in my apartment. And so we're like, well, what are we going to do? It's like, well, I have to take you back 45 minutes. Damn. But we oh, fucked, it. Yeah, we fucked in the car. We fucked in the car before I took him back. Here's the deal, though, yeah. Courtney. <laughs> it was and terrible. this is even advice. Really, really I bad. want my nigga to be like, I'm going in the motherfucking house. But well, he wasn't was my guy. He's not my guy, but he ain't either. Yeah, but so he, what? Was, yeah, the yeah, one inside right. was probably crazy, and she knew that. Yeah, he was crazy as oh. fuck. He's super crazy. Like he's mm -hmm. really crazy. You don't want him too, to end up being. Yeah. And he was a, the other guy was like a really good wholesome guy. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, you can't bring it inside. I just know that's wholesome. Personally, would have went inside and be like, you need to leave with your crazy ass. I would even say that to Carlos. Get your ass out my house. I'm trying to fuck somebody. What you gonna but do? But I was like 22. Yeah, he's gonna so turn I was really up. Young. Be, um, well, you got some warrants, and I'm gonna call the police. Oh that was yeah. I ain't scared of no warrant. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I drove my girl. 45 minutes and then drove see, back home. Uh, that's, see, that's a lot of driving. Lot. Well, I mean, yeah. Some some people like the road. I just well. I hate to say, it, but this all goes back to it. Jack said about oh God. saying what we want <laughs> and like, approach, like and approaching <laughs> our men because that should have been an approachable moment. You should yeah. be like, nigga, get the fuck out. This Ooh. is my goddamn house. Are you paying a bill? Was yeah, he? he wasn't paying shit. Like, oh, you well, gotta go. Well, I, yeah, I met him when I was 17. I get it. Like, okay. it was like that weird, like, I, I love you, but like, I hate you. Like, you know, like that I stupid, feel you. the dumb shit you do when you're but young. But today? But today, oh, no, today. Well, I'm glad you made it through nobody even to knows see the I light. Live. So, today? yeah. Today? No. So, it was a quick story. Um, That was a quick story. She was to, to the point. It was great. Okay. This was yeah. great. I don't have a cocktail. I was going to read a cocktail. Um, but no need. But no need because <laughs> the time frame is gone. Do y'all have anything you want to plug? Uh <laughs> Courtney, do you have anything you want to plug? Um, just make sure you guys go follow me at Courtney Levet, L A V E T T E underscore. Make sure you put the underscore because Shorty won't change her name. And of course, follow Bars and Beyond, and you can stream it live on. Oh, sorry, not live. You can stream it on Roku TV, or if you have a Fire Stick, search the Producers Network, and you can catch us there. And yeah, Jack, with uh, those shoulders, your shoulders is what oh makes God. you so fine. All right. Well, I appreciate, oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm blushing now. Uh, Jackson, 1616, J-A-X-O-N, 1616 is my Instagram. Of course, I'm one third of Sex with Strangers. Our Instagram is Sex with Strangers Podcast. Uh, new episodes every Monday. We got a live show 
March 28th, New York City. Brooklyn. If you ain't got some fucking tickets, man, get them now. Um, and yeah, just uh, thanks for having me. Oh, One Mic Stand. I'm tripping. Yes, one Mic tripping. Stand is my, is my fucking uh, YouTube show. One underscore the word one. O-N-E underscore M-I-C underscore S-T-A-N-D. I don't know that, it's but okay. I'm sorry. You got to be but yeah, careful. Check me out. Check and remember, out. if you guys um, are videographers or into um, production at all, to email me, please. These are paid opportunities. Info at kikisaidso.com. Um, send your work samples, your resumes, um, and be ready to work. And um, I look forward to seeing that. And then also make sure that you subscribe to our Patreon. It's patreon.com slash cocktails. We're putting out more content. Um more than we've ever put out before. And then also, if you would like to purchase an ad to have it run through the show and get you some business, send us an email to cocktails.atl at gmail.com. And make sure you follow us at Cocktails Podcast. I am at Kiki Said So. And I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. goodbye. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.